So we're back <laughs> with the game. Yeah, basically. <laughs> I won I wanted to beat the game that we were playing, but Derek wanted to start over, so here we go. I don't want to play with half of my characters being the red and fucking blue mage, alright? I hate those classes. Yeah, we didn't realize that people actually cared, so now we're gonna do this. <laughs> That's now how, I'm invested. Now I want to play for the fans. And we're using the Project Demi mod so that we can skip all the story stuff. Either Lena or Ferris has the only knife or dagger in the entire game. I always forget which is which. <laughs> or what, like, which has what and which is the only one. But either way, it's a one-of-a-kind knife slash dagger. What a weird enemy to encounter in the beginning of the game. It's like, here's a bat, a goblin, a crab, and then whatever the fuck that thing's supposed to be. How often do you clean your phone? Whenever I think about it. So not super often, but I'll like wipe it with a disinfectant wipe at work sometimes. Okay, that's good. As long as you do it at all. <laughs> Phones are gross, man. Very true. Whenever somebody like hands me their phone to show me something, I'm like, ew, the but I can't just, like, not take it. You know? <laughs> yeah, it's like an accusation, basically. Honestly, I feel the same way about, like, when I show somebody something on my phone and they want to take it, I'm like, I don't know. Are you sure? You <laughs> trust me that much? <laughs> Are we really that close already? Have you ever used a bidet? No, I have not, and I'm kind of afraid okay, to. Good. I don't want anybody high and mighty. <laughs> European <laughs> bastards. In terms of installing a bidet, I'm always confused because it's like, well, actually, I was talking to Roman about this. I was like, do they have to like re, add a new like? <laughs> are the pipes under your sink like a SATA cable, or it's like there's just a <laughs> bunch of extra ports you can use? But he was saying that <laughs> it just routes from your like toilet tank, probably, which makes sense. That would, yeah, that makes sense. So fine, but still, like. If it's just built into the toilet, that's probably ideal. I don't know, man. I'm still scared about the water shooting up there. Why? Because it's... Who knows who, who knows how long it's been up there? It could have, like, protein in it. Ew. And when you ingest things through your behole, they go into your bloodstream faster. So all the beholder. Blood, blood-eating amoebas can make you stronger because they don't kill you. Ew. That's so gross. Also, I'll get... A uh, goblin punch, but I'm not getting any of this other bullshit. Do you make your bed? No. Ever? I make it when I take the sheets off to, uh, to clean the bed sheets, and then I'll, like, make the bed when I do that, but that's, it only stays made for about 10 seconds before I just go to bed, and it's never made again until the next week or two. I used to be like, I don't understand why you'd make your bed, but I, it is just nice to go into your room and there's just a made bed. The thing about my bed is that it's just a flat sheet, a pillow, and like a comforter. Mm -hmm. I don't use like the flat sheets. You mean the thing that's under the comforter? Yeah. Oh. It's centered text. Black belt. I forgot that's what this calls the monk. Oh, I guess that's what it was called in Final Fantasy 1, so that makes sense. Okay, so the gimmick is that we're now going to use every job, but only we, we only get half of them. Wait, it's called Monk. Yes, that makes sense. I was like, I don't remember being but a black <laughs> I didn't one. either, but why did it call, I call it that? That was weird. Last time, all I could do was swing sticks. I want to do that. Yeah, I... <laughs> I think that's fair that I get the stupid mage and you get the other two. Monk, black mage, white mage. That's probably the perfect combination considering how many comments I got on that video saying use barefisted with mages for good damage. I wish that uh, some of the innovations from 6 existed when this game came out, like the blitz commands and like sword oh, attacks yeah. and stuff. The main thing I always know about 6 is that magic is grossly overpowered. So it really sucks that that game has so many unique character types and like special commands and then magic just dominates the whole fucking game. Because yeah, if there was like the sword text and the uh, the input stuff and like even the wep the items, the items that uh, with like the chainsaw and the poison gas and all that shit. Okay, well get owned I guess. There's a bunch oh, of different yeah. tools, there's like the crossbow. 
probably spelled cross space bow, if I had to guess. Oh, it's X bow. Okay, here we go. Ah, uh, no, this is you. Oh, oh, oh I see. You. It's a good time for me to do this. Thing. If you're curious, I'm, I'm adjusting the backlight on the television. <laughs> They're hitting everybody but Lena. That looks good. I hate the blue mage so much. Mmm, there we go. Oh yeah, I guess I wasn't really thinking about this is the first time we're playing this after uh, our faceless oh conjecture. <laughs> yeah, our, <laughs> our very shallow look at an extremely <laughs> modular RPG. Look how fast this boat goes. It goes so fast you actually hold B to go slower. <laughs> The same thing with the uh, airship, I think, and the dragon. There's a porn magazine in Final Fantasy IV, although that game was so butchered I wouldn't be surprised if it was removed. It was. The localization took out stuff. They took out so much stuff. The, the SNES version of Final Fantasy IV is kind of insane with how much stuff they were, like, they removed characters' entire abilities. I don't know if they ever given a reason, but considering that they removed basically everything that wasn't magic, and made the game easier. I'm assuming it was in service of just making the game extremely approachable to newcomers of RPGs. And it worked. The game was very yeah, popular. I think Final Fantasy Chronicles is Final Fantasy IV and Chrono Trigger. It's like how Legend of Mana is Final Fantasy Adventure, where like the only IP Square had confidence in is in North America was Final <laughs> Fantasy, so they just gotta attach everything to that. Yeah. But it's also kind of reminds me of that thing you were talking about with like duck hunt super mario bros it's <laughs> like if they did that nowadays it'd be like cyberpunk 2077 <laughs> and far cry 6 or some shit yeah where it, that that combination well, of things makes sense I but think, also is kind of silly i don't think it was like that it was just two discs oh okay. which is always a funny thing it's like how kingdom hearts 2 final mix plus it's just kingdom hearts 2 final mix but also there's rechain memories in the box <laughs> That's the plus. Stay tuned for the full 100% completion playthrough of Days. <laughs> God, I hate that game so much. Oh, I hate it single player. The idea of playing Kingdom Hearts multiplayer is great. Does it have combination attacks? No, I think you're just all playing Kingdom Hearts at the same time, basically. That was just a stupid way of asking. Does it still have like combo stuff like, you know, Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2? I only know about 1 and 2. I literally don't know shit about, well... I played a little bit of Chain of Memories, so my frame of reference for Kingdom Hearts non 1 and 2 and 3 is like weird stuff. I played the game when I was like in middle or high school or something, so it's been a while. The only thing I remember for sure is that there are three hit combos and there is magic. But the magic isn't with an MP meter, it's like you it's like Final Fantasy 1 magic. Whoa. Or D D magic, I guess. Oops. 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 Like, this <laughs> is why this beat. is why you can walk, yeah. Has anybody out there ever played Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles Echoes of Time. Is that the one we played? Yes. I hope not, for their sake. That game is so fucked up. It is bizarre how that game is, like, designed and also the story is... And the fact that the Wii version is just a DS game emulated. Yes. Damn! Oh, okay. <laughs> That is a, mm. more damage than I've ever seen the rod do. 21. Yeah, and usually it just dink to or zero damage. I wonder what made... Because only the fists and the katanas can crit, not counting, like, specific weapons that can crit, like the legendary bow or the legendary axe. I wonder what made them, like... It feels kind of arbitrary, the weapons that can crit. <laughs> you constantly landing in the wrong spot, it's <laughs> yeah. like Bart's getting lost. <laughs> it's like lands on the, like, are we, nope, not here. Where's Tool? <laughs> what do you fucking think's gonna happen? We're docking on a swamp. There's no port. Do you see a town? <laughs> Idiot. That is going to happen a lot, because it happened the last time I played this game on Project Demi. Ten legs. Yeah, whenever these octopuses use like eight legs or ten legs, they'll always target the women. So Damn. it actually keeps track of genders? Yes, and I think only for that. Only for that one move. I want to learn counter and then assign. Learn counter and then I assign like animals. So every, when That's I get hit, a... <laughs> if when, tri when counter triggers, it's just animals. 
I think that's a, um, like, that would be a seven materia. Yeah. Or it's, like, counter and then attached. You can, like, put in white or, like, cure or something. I want to play Final Fantasy VII, but also I don't. Seven is a good game. It's just extremely slow-paced. I learned after the fact that um, Blade Blitz is a learnable kick from one of the GBA jobs. So it does exist, it just didn't exist until like a decade after the original game came out. And I just bolt the shit out of this guy and he'll die in no time. Carl Labos. Another thing we didn't talk about with the monk was um, uh, the build-up, where it's like you do damage. Oh, okay, I guess I was the same <laughs> level as him. Good uh, thing you were dead. Yeah. You didn't level up enough. Yeah, build up where you like oh, yeah. pass your turn to do double damage. That's really only useful with fists because of the uh, oh, damage. Double attack. Yeah, the two attacks plus the crit thing. The ghosts are weak to just magic in general, and the skeletons are weak to fire. Makes sense. Okay, I guess <laughs> I'm wrong. I claim to be an expert on this game. I wonder if RPGE ever looks back on this translation as like, ugh. <laughs> Wasn't it a team? It probably was, yeah. If anybody on the team. I'm sure they do. I'm sure they'll, like, once every, like, three years think. Man, I really wish I didn't call them car cursors. Kind of an annoying early dungeon. Yes, it is. I don't like going through this place, but it does kind of fit the mood that I assume they're trying to go for, where it's like... Well, shit, we're literally trapped in the middle of the ocean. Yeah. So that's kind of like despair inducing. So in that way, it's cool. I also still don't know why you can stay on top of this box. Like, maybe there's supposed to be an air meter in this game, <laughs> but they only used it for the Mimic Tower. A big part of this game's development was, like, better spectacle on the overworld. So an air meter kind of fits with that. Yeah. You know, similar to how I um, really don't like the blue and red mage, Mostly because of Forge Job Fiesta. I also really don't like the uh, healing staff. It is objectively a very good and like very creative weapon, but I hate it because for so many, because you know the White Mage is the only overt healing class, I have to use the fucking healing staff yeah. for healing and it takes forever. The animation is so long. It's longer than just using Cure, though? It's, uh, it's longer in that you can only do one person with it at a time, so it's Sorry. like if you, you get hit with a multi-part, like a party-wide attack, you're just spending the next few turns. Dink. Dink. Great item, conceptually and uh, effectively. It's just really annoying. You know, in, like, in old, I think it was an old JonTron video where he was like, Oh, you got uh, you got skeletons and spiders in your RPG. How cr how creative! And, I'm, and I w at the time I was like, isn't that like pretty normal for RPGs? But then I play this, and it's like, look at all the weird ass fucking enemies yeah. that we've encountered barely like an hour into the game. What was he saying that about? I don't know. He was playing. Assuming this was John Tron, it was probably just some. He was complaining about that, or what? What was he saying about it? He was just saying, like, well, you can't think of anything better for an RPG enemy than a spider and a skeleton and oh, a bat. This Ooh. game's got those and also random other things, like exploding faces. Yeah. It's always weird to me when I see people talk about the Brave Blade, because that's the other one. Mm -hmm. But it can only, not counting Pixel Remaster where they buffed it, it can only get weaker, but the Chicken Knife can only get stronger. So uh, it's weird to me when people say like, oh, the Brave Blade is the best weapon in the game. Yeah, but you also need to never run away from anything for the entire game. That's two abilities from the Thief and the Ninja just completely useless. But thankfully Pixel Remaster buffed it so that um, you can uh, just not run away to slowly increase it so that... Eventually, I think you can have both weapons at full power, but you can never have both weapons, so it kind of is pointless. What, what do I do? Right now, she's resistant to magic, so just kind of dink at her with the rod or defend or something. Now you can use fire on her. She's very resistant to physical attacks now. Okay. Yeah, that's build-up damage. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. I always do this. 
with my physical characters because I can't do anything better. Whoa, this is why I bought those potions earlier specifically for this boss. Oh. Poison, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty simple. Drink this. We're not like throwing the potion at her. She's just we're giving it to her, and she's like, "Oh, delicious." Ugh, arg. <laughs> Sorry. Here's the antidote for that potion. Ugh.